Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands is a debut manga from Yen Press. Really been excited to read this one since I heard the title and got it in my hands. It's been out for a little bit. Uh, you can go get it. It's the world's finest assassin it gets a reincarnated in another world as an aristocrat, <laughs> volume one. I'll say that like five times fast. Uh, so it is original story by Rui Sukio and art by Himao Sumeragi, and then character designed by Rhea. I want to get the translation to. Uh, translation is Luke Hutton, lettering by Phil Christie. All right, so there's a whole bunch of like lines of manga that's whatever, whatever, whatever gets reincarnated in the form of whatever. Uh, I have no idea if they're all related and, or if it's just the idea that, you know, it's become super popular. So this is my first introduction to the whole reincarnated line and genre. Uh, but one thing I kind of wanted to check out, like, I love the ideas of assassin stories. I think they're really, really cool. Um, you know, they're always full of lots of action. And uh, this one's interesting. So, story goes, it's the world's greatest assassin on Earth winds up getting assassinated himself, and this goddess steps in and says, I will reincarnate you, but you need to go kill this hero after he defeats this giant demon. Uh, the reason being the hero will bring doom to a world. Uh, now, this world is not Earth. It is a fantasy world full of magic and swords and... Well, fantasy stuff. Uh, so there are some rules to this. The assassin is allowed to keep his memory, uh, and he is allowed to pick skills. So, like, literally from an RPG, he goes through and says, I want to max out, like, these sort of skills and thinks about what skills can complement e each other, which is kind of a really cool concept uh, and fun uh, way to build things off. But he also retains his memories, so he comes into this new world where all he has to do is kind of learn the new language, kind of gets the scope of the world, but, you know, he comes with that knowledge of being an assassin and all the stuff he's learned through his years living on Earth. Um, so this first volume is kind of taking him through, takes us through uh, the assassin growing up in this new world. Uh, he, he's kind of born into a wealthy uh, family who's also assassins. You know, he has to go through the trials to prove he's worthy of this family and stuff like that. Uh, and it's his training. Like, we, it, this is, first volume is really the kind of the grounding to get us used to this world, the concepts, the ideas, all that stuff. It's freaking awesome. I love, love, love this manga. Um, it's really cool. Uh, you know, there, there's not that over-the-top uh, art that I would expect with manga. Like, it's not like that Dragon Ball Z, like, going through super punching and... Um, stylized, that sort of stuff. Uh, but it's just this really cool build and introduction to everything. Like, it's it's really about the world building, and, and we discover things as he discovers things, which is really, really neat. Um, there's some, like, little bit of sexualization of some stuff. Um, he's got a... Uh, he eventually kind of gets an assistant who's all boobs. Um, there's this really weird sexual tension between him and a 10-year-old teacher, though he's seven. Um, that's a little weird, and then there's definitely some Oedipus shit going on uh, at one point when his mom makes a comment of, like, are you sad you can't milk, you know, get milk from me anymore? Um, barring that, it's generally pretty action-focused. Um, it's, it, it's, it's cool. It's, just, it's a really cool uh, manga. It dances around kind of that stereotypical stuff that I would expect in some manga, um, but that's really not the point of it. I can't wait to really get into the action of all stuff. Where things kind of left off is more training and I think more world building as he um, gets ready to kind of still go on his mission later of, of defeating this hero uh, before the hero destroys the world. You know, obviously there's a lot to go before he gets to that point. He's like 10 at this point and I think he's got like 18 years roughly before all that happens. So, um, yeah, we've, we've, we've got a while to go. Just really cool. I like it. Uh, we'll show off some of the art. This is the opening when he kind of realizes that he himself is being assassinated. Uh, we're gonna skip the kind of the goddess talking about talking to him. Actually, this is this is kind of a cool spread. I think she. This is where she's going over kind of like part of the. Hey, this is what you need to do in your mission. Um, there's also some other stuff. There's clearly a bunch of things that, you know, we haven't thought of as readers that he is going to get screwed over by. Um, I don't trust this goddess as to anything that she wants to do. 
uh, this is about as stereotypical kind of towards the manga style as we get. Um, actually, this might be. This probably is right here, where he, he learns some magic. And he comes up with, like, gun blasts and I think cannon blasters, two, two spells that he creates. Um, you know, this is awesome. I can't wait to read more uh, volumes. I'm really ex excited for this. Uh, such a cool concept, such a, a great read, really entertaining. Like, I flew through it and want more. I think that's a good thing if you really want more to, uh, to read right away. $13 out now. You can go get it physically. You can go get it digitally. Um, go get it from your comic shop. we got a link underneath this video. Put it in your zip code or tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links as well. They're affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that by uh, doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. I want to thank uh, Yen Press for hooking us up with this review copy. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you for watching. A lot of things going around. Uh, if you're into manga, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.